Hello everybody and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 as Japan. Third episode apiece. Uh, and our build programs are going through. We finished building the Hosho class uh, carrier, though we do have new uh, technology that came up during that, so the Hosho and the Akagi are a little obsolete. Uh, but then again, what ships aren't these days? Uh, I mean, most of our light carriers are obsolete. Uh, we'll have to look at maybe doing a redesign or rebuild of them, or even just junk them uh, at some point. But uh, we are going... Th we, we are chugging along. Uh, one thing I do want to look into is maybe doing a rebuild of the Congo. Uh, because uh, it's the only ship of the Akoma class that we will have... that we have. But first things first, air groups... Hosho. I think we need to add an air unit. Let's put some fighters on this. And we have 60 aircraft to, to go with. I'm thinking we go with... Uh, 10 fighters. And another 10 fighters. Giving us 20 fighters and two 10 fighter squadrons. To work out there. Then... We had another air group. This one's going to be dive bombers. Ten. I think you can see what I'm going with here. I want as many... strikes as I can get in different waves. So dive bomber, dive bomber. Uh, and then we've got our torpedo bombers. And I think this is a very sensible setup. Because that gives us six squadrons on board with three aircraft types. So we've got, you know, while one's being loaded and readied and is going out to strike, the other one can be readied and then gone out to strike. We can kind of stagger them into multiple waves, is what I'm thinking. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and copy that air group and we're going to put that on the on the Akagi as well. Yes. There we go. <sighs> so that'll put six Sentais on each carrier. Hopefully that works. Uh, but let's go to the next turn. Okay, Akagi finished her working up. The French government is interested in buying the rights to IP projectiles and improve shell quality control. By all means, we need the money. Uh, new float plane scout, the, Kawasa uh, the Kawasashi uh, Shigeruku is uh, ready for operational service. Additions during the development have probably left it somewhat underpowered. Yeah. Not great. And our aircraft request is six months out. Okay. Yeah, that's why we need to do that. Every time we get a new airplane, we put another request out. We just have these in rotation. And we got four months for these subs to be ready, so we won't put anything on. Uh, we won't halt any construction for right now. So next turn. Decapping belts. Gradual improvement in armor quality. Good. Uh, research in light forces and torpedo warfare. Improve power training for torpedo mounts. Increase torpedo readiness. Hey. Scientists support there. Well on their way to understanding improved anti-aircraft director. Okay. One more month for the next destroyer to be ready. Improved AA director improves HAA and M and medium AA uh, effectiveness. Okay. Yeah, a lot of re-equipping of things going on right now. All right. Super Jesus. Germany's going all in with the aircraft carriers. Alright. We're going to need to do the same here pretty soon. So next turn. New destroyer commissioned into the Navy. Scientists support their tantalizing close to in inventing improved optics quality. So fleet tactics underway with replenishment. Improved fleet logistics. The Kawasaki company has developed a medium bomber as a private venture. They want to know if we're interested in buying it. Okay, so we have the siren. This uh, the new one is faster, both aspects, less range. It's got more firepower, more maneuverability, more toughness, and a better bomb load. 
How much tr how much are we trading for range? We're losing 44 nautical miles. Or we're losing 66 nautical miles, right? Let's be no, it'd be something else, but whatever. We're losing we're losing some nautical miles quite a bit for heavy losing a, ooh, not too much in medium quite a bit for light it's faster so now we have a now we have an option firepower is better maneuverability is slightly better toughness is better and the bomb load in every bracket's better that gives us an extra 800 pounds of high explosives in the heavy bomb load. I think we're going to accept it. Yeah, I think we are. Accept it. Okay. Subs are ready next month. Then we can look into designing our new... You know what? We're going to design it right now. We're going to design our new aircraft carrier. Let's see what we pumps out here. Okay. We have no catapults. So we do have the ability of getting catapults, so we're going to do two forward catapults there. Okay. Two forward catapults. We lose a little bit of AA ability. So that gives us two catapults in the front. Okay, diesel's heavier, but I think it has better reliability. Uh, but that's good. 30 knots. That'd be the Kaga class. We could drop. Delete turret. Delete turret. Delete turret. Delete turret. That gives us a little bit of weight. Which gives us unit machinery or... Oh no, we can't go up to 31 knots. Aircraft capacity, 60. We pump that up to 62 aircraft. Could. Deck edge lifts and deck park, maybe? And we'll take deck park off. We could get some deck edge lifts to increase readiness. Instead of using these uh, side lifts, it increases our cost by not a lot at all. Got that. We're saving a lot in terms of weight, so we can go ahead and bump up the anti aircraft capability. And that brings us the Kaga class aircraft carrier. Torpedo protection's less than it could be. It's not really supposed to be like main, uh, like a a mainline combat ship. So if anybody's firing torpedoes at it, I mean, it would be, yeah, air launch torpedoes do count, I guess. Mm. Just get that. I, I like the idea of having 20 medium anti-aircraft guns. Yeah. That's good. We're going to go ahead and all okay for that one. Take four months to do with feasibility on that. We can do it. Okay. Next turn. There's 12 new subs commissioned in the Navy. Technology sharing agreement with Russia has been of great benefit to our research efforts in naval gun manufacture. Uh, we've suffered a temporary setback in figuring out the concept of early surface search radar. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you're really freaking old. Uh... Could pump out two more light cruisers. Start shipping them out to other regions. Yes, we'll do that. We'll be back in the black once these uh, various different uh, corvettes are done. Former corvettes commissioned in the Navy. Offering to sell us the rights to subdivision and damage control, improved water watertight hatches. We can pick that up, and we have plenty of money, so we'll go ahead and do that. Scientists uh, now have the grasp of improved watertight hatches, gradual damage control improvement. 
Technology sharing agreement with Russia has been of great benefit to our research efforts in naval gun manufacture. Improved optics quality, gradual national accuracy improvement. The Nakaji Nakajima con Company has developed the medium bomber as a private venture. I want to know if we're interested in buying it. Let's see. We've got two medium bombers ready. Better range in all brackets. Better bomb load than our current deployed one, along with better with range comparable or better to our long range bomber. Speed's not as great, but it's very very close. The Nizan, the Nakajima Nizan. That's actually really, really, really good. That puts us right on there. Yeah, we're going to accept that. Okay. Uh, another month. Save some money. Two Corvettes. French government offers to sell us the rights to armor development advanced face hardening. No thanks. We're going to save money because we're going to be building two new uh, carriers. Technology sharing agreement with Russia has been of great benefit to our research efforts in naval gun manufacture. We haven't seen any new naval guns. Uh, suffered a temporary setback from figuring out the concept of improved power rammers. New dive bomber prototypes ready for prototypes ready for uh, evaluation. What do we got? Okay, we think, uh, we got the Atashi and the Kaw the Kawashi dive bombers. Better speed on both. And, and not. Uh, in both brackets. Range, not as good for the Kawashi one. It's less. As well as being tougher, though. And having a better bomb load. Whereas we could go ahead and get slightly less speed, which is still better than our current one. But better range than our current one. And have a better bomb load. Actually having a light bomb load. A medium bomb load that's better. It's actually equivalent to that old heavy bomb load. And a thousand pound bomb on it. Yeah, we're going to go with the... Uh, the... Uh, the... Ashi... XDB... 46. Okay. Aircraft types. Alright. This is our new medium bomber. So... You are going to be deemed obsolete right now with the, this one becoming obsolete once this one comes into development. This dive bomber is coming in. Uh, what's our oldest one? We have a flying boat that we could probably put in. Flying boat, new dive bombers being put in. Torpedo bomber. Could go ahead. Let's get a new flying boat. Flying boat... And we want range and reliability for a new flying boat. Okay, one more month for a Corvette. There we go. French government is interested in buying the rights to improved hydrophones. By all means, France. Okay. New carrier, the Kaga. We're building two of those. Placing them down. And I also want all of these guys in Northeast Asia. You're going to move. Move ship to the South Pacific. Okay, there they go. All these new destroyers. Can go ahead and be put on the reserve fleet. Save us a bit of money. Both of these battle cruisers can be put in the reserve fleet to save us some cash. Okay, that's good. All right, saving us a bit of money. These new carriers are going to be pretty nice. These new, these two new light cruisers will be going into the Southeast Asian area as uh, kind of replacements for the really old, obsolete ones that we got in there right now. So that's nice. Okay, next turn. Uh, Non-flammable materials. Gradual damage control improvement. That's good. Okay. I'm going to check here. 
Uh, this puts us, we're still pretty far behind in a lot of these areas. Uh, our carriers, we will be second in the carrier race, with the United States being the current lead. But then again, they do have a couple of old converted ones that are heavier than they should be for an actual carrier. Uh, light carriers is a thing we might go ahead and pop out a couple more of at some points, because we can send them to foreign stations uh, where they can kind of be useful to show the flag. And cheaper. With tensions low, Parliament votes to reduce naval funding. Uh, we just put in some brand new big ships. Formation of U.S. flying boats of the type Donalus Tiger Cat have crossed the Atlantic. Led by a prominent air marshal. The press is asking for your comment. Impressive feat indeed. Nope. Our machines could easily do the same. Budget and tension. Bring that up, just because we're going to try and offset what they just took away from us. Yeah, by a lot. So, Though, we are at zero tension with Italy. Can we get an alliance with Italy? And can this damn treaty with Russia finally be, I don't know, like ended? Can Or am I still a threat to you, Great Britain? You bastards. Uh, okay. Next turn. Viable pinch propellers. Pitch propellers. Uh, improved range for cruisers. Oh, okay. Variable pitch propellers. There we go. Uh, our scientists report that they're currently baffled by the problems of improved power rammers. All right. Temporary setback and bring up the concept of aerial depth charges. Eesh. Definitely use some of those. All right. Battlecruiser Coma could be worked on at some point. Open design for a rebuild. What would this even look like? Replace machinery. Do we have better 14-inch quality guns? We do. Which gets you there. Advanced Director. Director Fire Control. Get a lot of anti-aircraft guns. But once we bring it up to 30 knots... Doesn't need, doesn't need those. Uh, okay, do we have better... No, we don't have better s six inch guns, I don't think, no. Okay, so we can just pop on a couple of anti-aircraft guns, quite a few of these. It'll take a year to rebuild it. But we can actually make it a fairly decent anti-aircraft th Oh, and oil. There we go. That actually saves us a lot of weight. Okay, 31 knots we're not going to get, but four hundred four hundred tons. We could just go ahead and let the 400 tons go. If we just let the 400 tons go, yeah. That wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, that wouldn't be that bad at all. That'd be a nice refit for the Akoma. Can't afford it right now, because we're currently building two battlecruisers as is. Uh, but in 11 months we will be able to. So, that's something. So, next turn. Okay. Eh, not seeing much else. New medium bomber's almost ready. New dive bomber's almost ready. A couple more months for the new flying boat prototype. So we just gotta keep going. One of our minor allies in the Asian mainland is threatened by a neighbor. What should be our policy? We should back them unconditionally to get our budget back up. It'll increase tensions, but we need the budget. Automated fuse setting increases HAA effectiveness. That's good. Counterintelligence believes Great Britain has stolen technology in shipboard... Aircraft operations from us. The air affair is leaked to the press. Diplomatic note. We'll lose a little bit of prestige, but we can't just goad Great Britain. Or we could... Yeah, we'll increase tension a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Alright, our budget's not that bad any right now, actually. Pupped it up a little bit. Okay, you're both in Northeast, or Northeast Asia, you can be put on reserve. 
Yes. Okay. Save us a little bit more money. I just need to keep going here. 1937. Our scientists report they are currently baffled by the problems of effective camouflage schemes. Uh, within a cast, cat's whis whisker of comprehending creeping zone AA barrage. Okay, new flying boat prototype ready for evaluation. So we got three. Really want to get in on the flying boats. Okay. Light range and reliability. So max speed is better in all brackets. That doesn't surprise me. It's an older, it's about seven years old at this point. Range. God, there's one here that's almost got a thousand nautical miles for light load. Firepower is better in every bracket. Maneuverability is less for one of them. Same for another, better in one. Toughness is better in all brackets. Let's see here. Flying boat. 908 nautical miles with a light bomb load. 500 pounds. Even with a heavy bomb load, 515. We're losing maneuverability, but that range... So it'd be the Kishu, the Kyushu, XPB 49. Yeah, we're going to take that. I think that, yeah, we're definitely going to take that. That range is so good for a scout plane. New medium bomber. The Shoki is ready for operational service. Good. All right. That's helping us out. Got eight months for the first of these battle cruisers to be ready. Yeah, not much else we can really do. We need that treaty to just stop. Or for us to get an alliance with somebody. So next turn. One of our cruisers ran aground in a minor nation while performing an illicit intelligence operation. They threatened to impound the ship. What's your reaction? Increase tensions a little bit. Lose a little prestige. We gotta just lose a little prestige. Because we can't risk going to war with the with the British right now. Our technology sharing agreement with Russia has been of great benefit to our research efforts in anti-aircraft artillery. So creeping zone AA barrage improves HAA effectiveness. Counterintelligence believe that Great Britain has stolen technology and fleet tactics for us. Leak to the, okay. Shouldn't be upset over a little spying. Send a diplomatic note. We can go and get tension with Italy. Our new medium bomber, the Nakajima Nizan, is ready for opera service. A rebellion is broken out in the uh, German possession of the Northern Marianas. Good. Very, very good. Uh, so, yeah, the Nizan... going to replace this guy. That's good. Very, very good. What else do we need? We've already got a better dive bomber that's being developed. So it'll be a fighter. We got the Nakajima Zero. So let's see here. Fighter. We want speed and maneuverability for a fighter. Put that up there, and we'll see what we get. All right, next month. Revolution in a Chinese province has left some of our national stranded. What do we do? Send a strong... Send a strong squadron to bombard the capital until our citizens are released. Join an international squadron to send to contain the violence. Okay. Scientists are happy to report that they are considering mass, uh, they are close to mastering lightweight materials. New German fighter, the Henkel HE-117, is entering service. It's rumored to be f uh, faster than our fastest fighter. Okay. Naval intelligence suggests that we could ship some arms to the rebels. Yes, ship some arms. Let's uh, let's decrease the capabilities of the Germans in the Pacific. All right. All right, we're actually in the black again. That's good. So we won't have to put anything on halt for right now. 
Okay, one more month. Let's see what we got. Lightweight materials, 1% weight saving on haul. Sign of support there. Well underway to understanding. Magnetic pistons. Uh, our scientists report they made unexpected advances in submarines. So improved welding, 5% increase in sub reliability. Counterintelligence believes that Russia has stolen technology from us, uh, technology and ship design from us. Send a little diplomatic note. Just to up tension a little bit, but let's not push it. New dive bomber, the Atashi Akisha, is ready for operational service. Okay. Then we could ship some arms to German Sessions. No, we shipped arms once. We'll just give them a little bit, nothing else. We'll see if that uh, one helps. Okay. Five months for the new battle cruiser, nine months for this new light cruiser. We've got 200 to go. Eh, we'll save up money. But looking at the time, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. If you would like, uh, if you would like to help support the channel, click the subscribe button down below, as well as take a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.